the most important thing to understand is that anyone can get HIV. In this video, we'll talk about how someone can get HIV and the importance of getting tested. We'll also talk about how to avoid getting HIV. First, what is HIV? HIV, or the human immunodeficiency virus, is a virus that weakens the body's ability to fight infections. It does this by destroying the helper T cells, the cells that help protect our body from infection. HIV remains a major medical problem in the U.S. and worldwide. There are over 38 million people around the world living with HIV. In 2019, experts estimated that almost 1.2 million people in the U.S. had HIV, and they estimated that over 10% of those infected didn't know that they had the infection. When HIV-AIDS was first diagnosed in the U.S. in the 1980s, it was predominantly an infection in young white men who had sex with men, living in larger coastal cities. However, the groups of people with HIV infections now is far more diverse, affecting people of all genders, races, ages, and sexual orientations. How is HIV transmitted or spread? HIV is spread from person to person through the body fluids that contain the virus. These fluids include blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and breast milk. In order for you to get HIV, infected body fluids need to get into your body, where HIV uses helper T cells to make copies of itself. Infection can occur in the following ways. By direct contact with blood, for example, sharing needles with someone with HIV, through damaged tissue like cuts or sores, or through the mucous membranes. Mucous membranes line inner surfaces of your body, including the anus and vagina. These surfaces are often invisibly damaged during sex. The greatest risk factors for acquiring HIV include unprotected vaginal or anal sex and sharing needles and syringes or other injection equipment used to inject things like drugs, steroids, hormones, or other substances. Women with HIV can also pass the infection to their infants during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. But this is much less common now because of HIV treatment and prevention. It's also really important to know how HIV is not transmitted. HIV is not spread by casual contact. HIV is not passed through sweat, tears, or saliva. You cannot transmit or acquire HIV via the air or water, from insects or pets, or by sharing toilets, food, or drink. So how would you know if you had HIV? The only way to know is to get tested. After becoming infected with HIV, some people will experience flu-like symptoms that begin between two to four weeks after acquiring the infection. These can include fever, chills, body aches, sore throat, fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, or night sweats, to name a few. These symptoms will typically resolve on their own, but many people will not have any symptoms after infection. It is completely possible to have no symptoms after getting HIV. That is why getting tested is so important. The CDC recommends that every person between 13 and 64 years of age get tested for HIV at least once in their life. The CDC also recommends testing at least once per year for those at higher risk of getting HIV. People who should get tested yearly include people who have had unprotected sex or sex without a condom, men who have sex with men, people who have injected drugs or other substances or shared injection equipment with others, people who are diagnosed with another sexually transmitted infection like gonorrhea or chlamydia, people who are diagnosed with hepatitis or tuberculosis, people who have exchanged sex for drugs or money, or anyone who has had sex with someone with an unknown sexual history. In addition, all pregnant women should be tested for HIV in order to protect both themselves and their child from potential HIV infection. There are three kinds of HIV tests available, antibody, antigen antibody, and nucleic acid tests. Antibody tests look for HIV antibodies that the body produces in response to infection. These three tests can all be done on the blood, and the antibody tests can also be performed using oral swabs or saliva. You can get tested at your medical clinic or through other resources like drop-in clinics, 
STI clinics, community health centers, or at substance use programs. As with all information in your medical record, HIV testing is confidential. In addition, there's also the potential for anonymous testing. Now let's talk about how to reduce your risk of getting HIV. The best thing you can do to prevent HIV transmission is to use condoms during sex and get tested so you know your HIV status. Also, discuss sexual and drug use history with new partners before having sex. Transparent communication can go a long way in preventing the spread of HIV. It's also important to avoid sharing needles or other injection equipment. What is PrEP? PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis, which means that you take antiretroviral therapy to prevent HIV infection. PrEP is recommended for people who are HIV negative, but who are at high risk of contracting HIV through sex or injection drug use. When used as prescribed, it reduces the risk of getting HIV from sex by 99%. What is PEP? PEP stands for post-exposure prophylaxis. It means taking antiretroviral therapy after a possible exposure to prevent HIV infection. PEP must be taken within 72 hours of an exposure, so it's important to talk with your healthcare provider or emergency room or urgent care provider right away if you think you might have been exposed to HIV. We've covered a lot of information in this video. Let's recap. HIV is a virus that weakens the body's ability to fight infection. HIV is spread from person to person through body fluids, most commonly during sex or when sharing needles or equipment used to inject drugs. The only way to know if you have HIV is to get tested. There are lots of places that offer HIV testing. Getting tested and knowing your status is the most important step in keeping yourself healthy and stopping the spread of HIV to others. Reach out to your healthcare provider if you have questions or concerns, or visit the CDC's website on HIV for more information.